Hello and welcome back to Age of Engineering and my name's CJ. Now yesterday we'd just finished crafting the Vibrant Jetpack. Uh, I was getting ready to craft the, what was it called? I can't remember the name of it myself. The Dark Solarium Jet Plate. Uh, but to do that, what I was needing and what I still need now is Vibrant Crystals and Pulsating Crystals. And Pulsating Crystals take diamonds or industrial diamonds. Now, one thing I've been running short on is diamonds. Um, I've got five in here, and I've got eight in here, and I've just basically got the rest of them out of my mine. I swap that over. But we do keep running out, and if I use all them, they'll be gone, and it's gonna take me a while before I can get some more diamonds. So what I wanna do, I wanna look at potentially creating diamonds. Now, as you saw then, there was something called an industrial diamond. An industrial diamond is made with coal in a molecular transformer, and this takes EU. So what we can do then, we can look at making this so we can create diamonds from our coal, because I've got plenty of coal to go about. Now, I've gathered some of the items up. I still need to make some other items uh, for it. Uh, let me just get it up. Molecular. There we go. Right, so the items I need, I need these EV transformers and I also need these MT cores. Now, these transformers take uh, advanced circuits and also take Lipotron crystals. Now, these crystals are created using energy crystals, advanced circuits and crushed lapis lazul. Now, these um, energy crystals, we've gone over them before, created with any uh, energy dust and this is with diamond crushed diamonds and redstone uh, and that's why I've got the eight because we're going to need crush all eight because we're going to need f uh, two of those diamonds uh, I believe this is finished I'll chuck that on there right so we'll just let that process and then as soon as we've got that done we're going to need redstone one two three four that should be enough should be more than enough we'll take that Let's head back up here, because it shouldn't take too long for that to crush. I believe it already has. I can't hear the crusher already. Whoa. Keep falling down these stairs. I wish I'd built a bit more space around my stairs. Not the compressor. I want this. So we'll take this crushed diamond. Let's get the recipe back up. For that. And there we go. We'll craft that. And then we'll just pop that in the compressor. And that will make us two of those uh, energy crystals. And then from those, we want advanced circuits and lapis lazul. Now I'm probably going to need to make some more advanced circuits and probably some more just basic circuits as well. But I'll probably do a cut while I craft up those. Right, so we've got our advanced circuits. Uh, those are done, yeah. Oh, um, pop those in here. Right, so we've got as an energy crystals does that say two or three? three two thank you very much so then what we need to craft now is this uh, I didn't grab the lapis typical there we go uh, I'll put that redstone back in there for now right so let's craft up these uh, they don't stack so I've got to do it twice done so we've now got as uh, lipotron crystals which means that we can now make those EV transformers but first thing we need to do I need to make some more advanced circuits and you also need to make the high voltage transformer and also the medium voltage transformer and the low and the low voltage transformer which is made it the medium voltage transformer which is made from just a basic machine casing and insulated copper wire uh, I believe I already have copper wire in here and insulated, yeah. Uh, we've got one machine casing we could do with another. Let me go have a look. Um, I bet we already had some there and I just didn't see it. Yeah, we did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're only going to need eight. Right, so we'll take those. One, two, one, two. There's the medium volt transformer the next one that we need to make then is 
high voltage transformer which takes a um, two times insulated gold cable and an electronic circuit and advanced batteries now the advanced batteries are created using sulfur lead dust insulated copper cable and bronze item cases now do I have any bronze item cases nope but I do have that and how many was it per battery five per battery so if I take five because it creates two each time that will create me more than enough I'm going to go up here just pop that in the rolling machine as you can see as well I've um, taken away the other metal for me put the ink upgrades in there so this one just works faster now and I can place a load of things in there and just get them all processed straight through oh, I've still got some steel plate there let's take that down with us uh, steel plate right so we need some sulfur I believe I've got sulfur up here not this one here we go plenty of sulfur and we also need some lead dust I'm not too sure if I've got any lead dust nickel platinum zinc tin let's see if we've got any lead ore now I am starting to collect up some of this. I have read that you do need uh, the aluminium dust. Obviously you've just seen I've got quite an amount up there so I'm going to be saving all of that because we'll need that for a later point. There's the lead. That's just a go dump this in the grinder here. Um, let's pop it in this one. And I'll pop some in this one as well. Why not? Right, so uh, what we need first to do then is let's get this back into sulfur dust. Um, let's make the rest of that up as well. And I'll just pop the last little bit in there. I don't know how I'll pick that up. Uh, what I'll do though, I'll take those now and just pop those in there, get some of that processed. Uh, lead dust, before I forget. take that lead dust right now the only other thing that I believe we require ah yeah we've got the copper we've already got the copper cable so yep we can make those two batteries so click there click there click there and there's his two batteries so we've got his two batteries now as well and now it's just a case of making the gold cable now question is do we already have some no nope. so what I'll do just go get that change that to extrude oh uh, no 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 there we go <laughs> nearly 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 so we got more than enough there right so we're only gonna need four pieces so I'm just going to take four. I don't want to take it all because I don't know how much rubber I've got left. Uh, we need eight rubber. And then if we pop that up there. Pop that up there. We get two times insulated gold cable. And then the two times insulated gold cable with the MV transformers and electronic circuits. Yeah, I've got me two there. We should be able to craft one, only do one at a time, yeah, two, great, so we've got the high voltage transformers, the only thing now is to move them onto the EV transformers, which takes three times insulated HV cable, which I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've already got, if not, I can craft some more, is there any in here, nope, so yeah, I'll have to craft some more of that, so, let me just go up here. We're only going to need two pieces, so let's just take one of them. Chuck it in there. And we need to triple insulate this. Uh, we only need two pieces, was it? Let me just quickly check. Oh, we need four. 
And we've got the four. So we just need... like that, three triple insulated high bolt cable. Right, so we've got those four. Uh, we've got as lap around crystals. All it's a case now is we're making the advanced circuits. As you can see, they're made using uh, empowered Estonia, empowered palace crystals and glowstone. So I've only got them. I'm going to have to craft up another one of those I think that is more that's enough of those let me just grab that so we're gonna need one of those one of those one of those and red dye let's go get this empowered So, Restonia block in there, red garnet there, oh, I like that. Restonia, red dye there, what was that called? I forgot myself then. Resonating Restonia crystal, redstone crystal, that's the one. Couldn't remember for the life of me what it was called then. Right, so we've just got like, that process. What I'm going to do then, I'm just going to quickly cut away while I make those advanced circuits, and then I'll come back and we'll get finished. Right, so we've got those advanced circuits then, so now it's just a case of making the EV transformers. And there's one, and there's two. So we've now got those. That is nearly ready then. Uh, the final thing that we need to make then is this MT core. Now, this MT core is made with irradiated glass pane, ir irradiant, sorry, glass panes, thickened neutron reflector, and iridium reinforced plate. Now, the iridium reinforced plate takes a diamond, iridium ore, and advanced alloy. Now, the iridium ore we get from compressing iridium shards in the compressor. You also get from dungeon chests and once we have the molecular transformer we can actually create a radium more out of iron. Uh, what I'm going to do then, I believe I do have a radium in here. Hmm, I don't have enough though. Hmm. Now that was something I was not looking into. And there's no other way to make a radium. And that's only in N city chests. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to take a short break while I head into the end. Um, see if I can find another fortress and potentially find myself another... Well, I'd need 36 in total, so I need another 23 iridium shards. Unless I can actually find some iridium. Is that able to be found in chests as well in the nether? But in the end? Oh, that can be just found in dungeon chests. Stronghold libraries, stronghold crossings, and stronghold corridor. And just a basic dungeon. Uh, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to have a quick look around. I'm going to uh, search the rest of the end dungeon. See if I can find any more in there. And then I'll come back to you so I'll see you shortly I've just been through right I've just been through the dungeon uh, finished off the dungeon I found one of one already more in there I then had to go over to the end spent about two hours over there flying around with the jetpack and managed to wrap myself enough up to get me four I've got some more up in the compressor being compressed now um, I think I should get one more out of that and be a couple of shards left over. So let's go back to the molecular uh, transformer then. Uh, what it is that we need to make then, we need to make the iridium reinforced plate, which is advanced alloys for iridium ore and a diamond. Now, I've got diamond here and we need four advanced alloys. Right, and then we just a case of crafting those up. Just a bit of a lag there when it was crafting. Right now, the next thing that we need to make 
is um, the thickened neutron reflector. And the thickened neutron reflector is made with four neutron reflectors and a copper plate. So we are going to need two of those, which means we're going to need eight of these. And to make those, it takes one copper plate, copper, and tin dust. So we take that, that, and that. Click on here. And let's get those crafted up. Now, I said we want eight, so let's half that down. There we go. We don't want to use all of that, just want to use exactly what we need. And those are copper plates as well. There we go. So we've got those two thickened neutron reflectors. Uh, the next thing that we need to make then is the irradiant glass panes. Now, this is with irradiant uranium, glowstone, and reinforced glass. The reinforced glass is glass with advanced alloy. Uh, now, whoa, I've got plenty of glass up here. There we go. And then it's just a case of getting the advanced alloy. Now, I don't know how much of this I'll need, so I'll just craft as much as I can get for now. There we go, so I've got 28 pieces of that. Uh, now we do need to make the irradiant uranium, which is just uranium surrounded by glow dust. And I believe I've already put some uranium through here, yeah. And this uranium is okay, it's not like the industrial craft stuff, this stuff won't kill you, which is fantastic. Right, so what we need then is some glowstone. And we'll take that there, and we'll go back over here and we'll craft ourselves mm, craft ourselves a few of those now we are going to need some more glowstone I may as well use the glowstone I've gotten here because we're going to need to turn this into uh, the irradiant glass panes and we want how many was it? we want six of those which means we're going to need twelve of those we've got more, more than enough that's brilliant so if I click on there click on there and click on there that's only give us four what was it we were missing the reinforced glass we need some more reinforced glass uh, another yeah that's not what I wanted to do was it clearly so let's put that back come on recipe go 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 no go 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 five five why only five another piece of that great so that 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 one more we don't even need to make that other one right so let me just pop those back in there, pop those back in there, put that in there, that in there, we're done with the tin dust, uh, we're done with those copper plates, now what we're going to need is those, and we want those advanced machine casings, I'll probably put the basic ones back as well, I don't know why I crafted all them basics, because I don't actually need them, wrong place, you idiot. There we go. Right, now let's craft up the molecular transformer. And what we're going to need, first we're going to need to make the MT core. Which we have all the parts for that. So we have the MT core, we've got those two, and we have those two advanced machine casings. The only thing that's left now is we need our advanced circuits. So if I get that, and we're going to need, is there any redstone in here? Yep. In fact, I can take all that out of there. Let's just put all the dust in there, apart from that tin dust. Uh, pop those down there. Right, so uh, copper wire I'm going to need. Where's my copper insulated wire? So the first thing that we need to craft then is these ones. So there we go, we've got two of those. And we're also going to need... Hmm. 
we've only got seven brilliant uh, it will actually be quicker for me to just do one of those and I've got enough of those that's perfect uh, so we need one 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 and where's my red die one that, that shouldn't take too long, that should literally go in and come straight out. I keep falling down these stairs. I haven't got one in there, have I? Nope. Just checking, just in case I had made one and forgot. So yeah, we'll place that there. That there. That there. That there. That there. I know it feels like a bit of a waste of items just to do one of those. But we only need the one and it makes it a lot faster and as you can see it's done already before we even come down the stairs. So let's get over here, click on there, click on there, uh, glowstone, truck and put that back, one, two, three, four, right, so let's craft the advanced circuits and we've got those and now craft the molecular transformer, boom. Now this does run off um, EU as we know so what I think I'm going to do is place this on the top floor because I can place this straight onto here now fingers crossed this doesn't blow up brilliant and where do we put power in because it doesn't look like it's being fed power why can I hear Somebody sneaking around me. Um, now I know they only output on one side only and I've got them outputting down there. So I'm probably going to have to change the setup a little up here. Let me just go craft myself another piece of cable. Uh, I'm gonna need some iron. I want the high volt cable. Is it still on extruding yet? Pop that through there. Sorry about the noise up here. Like. I need to turn these sounds off. I did originally change them, but it seems like they've just reset themselves. Obviously, because I must have changed it after I uh, saved all my progress. I hear Jim seeing it. Let me just get rid of him. Uh, don't want you, don't want you, thank you very much. Right, now, I only want one piece of cable, so let's just go for one piece. And head straight upstairs. Now I'm hoping it get, draws power from the bottom, if so then it should now work. Still not seeing any energy and I'm not seeing anything on here. What we'll do then, we'll just give it a quick test. And the best way to test it is to give it some coal. Let's take a piece, a, a piece, a stack out of here. I mean if it can make a stack of uh, industrial diamonds that will be brilliant. Because I believe we can also change those in here as well into a normal diamond. Ah, yeah, there we go. It has got plenty of EU in it. Uh, oh, no, it needs 9 million EU to craft this recipe, and it's getting 56 EU per tick. But that's because all the others are processing downstairs. When they are finished, it will get the full amount of the EU, hopefully. Uh, but for now, yeah, that is going to do it. That will now start to uh, process into industrial diamonds and if needs be we can put those industrial diamonds back in what's that? Scenarium? oh that's where you get that from oh there's quite a few different ones in here uh, you can see it only takes a million EU though to change an industrial diamond into a normal diamond where we're going to be spending 9 million EU a time to uh, craft this up progress 1% so that is pretty slow going until we get better power from EU so I'm gonna have to potentially look at different power possibilities for our 
industrial craft so we can potentially get more power pumping straight into that because that is going to be very slow progress at 50 EU per tick and it's got to do 9 million uh, it's probably going to do by episode 100 <laughs> Anyway, that is going to do it for today then. We have got that process that is making us diamonds. Even if it is slowly, we've still got the process going. I will have a look and in maybe increasing the amount of power we're getting in to our industrial craft. Maybe even look at just powering that thing separately on its own from something. But uh, we'll look at that in future episodes. Other than that, I would like to thank you for watching today. If you have enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, please feel free to subscribe so you get notifications of when I upload new content. Thank you.